How's it going everybody? Things are slowing down a little bit on the farm now. We got all the field work done. So we have the trailer in the shop right here. This is the one we just bought. We're gonna put some rubber on the floor because it's a little bit slick. So I think we're gonna work at that here this morning. My dad was just pressure washing the New Holland. Got that tractor cleaned up a little bit. He's just gonna park it right now, I think. Actually, I guess we'll hook it up to these hayride wagons. Thing cleans up pretty nice. So we got these two wagons for hay rides. We host barn parties in our barn this time of year, getting that ready for a party coming up. Guess we'll work at this trailer now. So it has a wood floor in it. And the thing with this flooring we found is as soon as it gets wet, it just gets really slippery. So if we have a couple cattle in here, we had some shavings in, some lime, but it still got slick. We didn't like that. In our old trailer, we had put some old cow mats on the floor and it helped a lot with traction and comfort. Step it off and see how many we need. 11, 12, 13. Should be four mats. These are old mats we tore out of some of the stalls a while back. We had originally, when we built the barn, put these old mayo mats in all the groups, and then these were torn out of one of the groups that we put water beds in, so these mats were only used for maybe five years or something. We'll come back to this. We want to chase some heifers out of the meadow. Try and chase them from the meadow out front the whole way down through to that dry cow barn there. So we got the three heifers and this one weird looking animal. My sister went and got a horse like a month ago, something. I'm not too familiar with horses to be honest. They're friendly though. Got it all screwed down. Should give them a little bit more traction, some padding. We should be good for pulling cattle now. It's actually the next day now. Yesterday we put the rubber in that thing and I didn't get a chance to film any more then. I'm gonna park this in the shed. First I wanna put some wood shavings into the trailer so the next time we use it, it's ready to go.
they're kind of smooth mats, but the just the cushion alone with the cow's hooves digging into that cushion, it gives them good grip. So the next thing I'm gonna work at now is taking the shovel, scoop some wood shavings, and carry it over. We're gonna put it in here, spread it out on the floor. I like to use the shovel just because by hand it would be harder just to pick up as much in like per trip. So Okay, let's see what we're gonna be doing next. Earlier this week, we were working at some of the lights in the freestall barn. This time of year now, the days are getting shorter. We're gonna need lights even more. We always have the lights running during the evening milk and they stay on until 11 p.m. They turn on automatically then at four, a little after 4 a.m. So we wanna make sure they're working good. There was just two that we wanted to rebuild. Yeah, it's just these two. Good. So these lights have the old fluorescent bulbs in them. We have LED bulbs to put in now, so it means we have to change something inside before we can use them. I guess hit the lights. So we're gonna have to change some of the wiring. I gotta take these two Piece of metal off so we can get up to the ballast inside of there. Okay, so this is a ballast right here. This regulates the electricity for the fluorescent lights. Don't exactly know what it does, but we don't need them anymore with the LEDs. So I'm just gonna cut the wires off and just direct wire it. I stripped all the wires. I'm just gonna attach these three to the one, the hot one, and then the neutral the other end. These are the LED bulbs, they don't really look much different, but they're more efficient and brighter. Let's see if they work. Yep. Now we don't have enough LEDs to do this last light, but we're just gonna replace the one bulb that's out in this one with one of these good ones. So I just cleaned the glass on this one. We're not gonna be able to change it. That should be it for the lights then for this fall. There's just four in this bed pack pen. And then there's like 16 or something out in the big barn that we replaced three of the lights completely and then we rebuilt five or six of them too, so. It's good to have that done. The lights in this pen are very important. These are the pre-fresh cows. So we come out in the evening if you want to check, see if any calves are being born. I want to be able to see everything really well. We're getting to the end of October now, so that means there's a few jobs we have to do to get things set up for winter. And one of those jobs is to winterize the sprayer. We want to clean it out a little bit and then we'll run RV and freeze through it to keep it from freezing up over the winter. I gotta get the New Holland, hook it up to that, and then we're gonna have to go pick up some antifreeze because I don't have enough. I was hoping the 540 RPM shaft would be on the tractor, but it's the thousand, so we gotta change this too.
first I want to rinse the sprayer out. The last thing I was spraying with this was some fertilizer for the alfalfa. I got fresh water run through the whole sprayer. I need to put RV antifreeze in it, but I don't have enough. And my dad's using the truck right now, so we're waiting on that. I'm gonna hook up the pressure washer and we'll clean it up a little bit on the outside. See if my dad's back with his truck. Yes, sir. So right now there's just plain water in all the lines. And you know, water expands as it freezes. So over the winter we wanna make sure we have something in there that's not gonna freeze up, cause any problems. So we'll put this RV in a freeze in. This is safe. It's not like a uh, normal antifreeze you put in a car. I got the eight gallons in there. So this is the pipe that sucks the liquid up. So it'll pull it up, run it through the pump in the system, and then I'll turn the nozzles on and it'll run out the hoses and everything. And we won't have any damage from things freezing up. And we have this tank right here to wash your hands with. I'm gonna drain that out as well so we don't have that water freezing up. See if we get any pink coming out of here. Yeah, I can see a little bit of pink there. I think we're good. Just gonna unhook the sprayer, park it here for the winter. Should be ready for cold weather. It's not very cold today, but it's coming, so it doesn't have to hurry. I'm fine with this nice fall weather. All right, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.